It's Women's History Month. So, what? Are we gonna learn to sew or something? That's a sexist stereotype. We won't be learning to sew. That's next week. Have you heard of the Seneca Falls Convention? Wasn't that the thing where people first started to think girls should get to vote? Very good, Josh. Do you know what else happened? Not really. All I know is a bunch of women got together because they felt mistreated and wanted to change it. Almost 300 people were there, and not all of them were female. Around 40 of those in attendance were male. It was the start of the movement for women's rights. What were they so upset about? I understand wanting to vote, but that couldn't have been all there was to it. You're right. Back then, not only couldn't women vote, but they couldn't get jobs in certain fields. Even when they could find work, they'd get paid less than a man would, if he had the same job, and wouldn't be allowed to keep any wages earned. Then how could they buy anything? It didn't matter that they couldn't buy anything, because women weren't allowed to own anything. Women had no property rights, and were even thought of as property themselves. Girls belonged to their fathers until they were old enough to get married, then they belonged to their husbands. Women were thought of as, less than and weren't allowed to speak in public, back then, there weren't laws against the husband beating his wife. So, how'd they change it? With the Declaration of Sentiments. It stated all the injustices to women. People agreed that the laws needed to be changed, and slowly, they did. Because of what happened on July 19, 1848, the day of the convention and when the declaration was signed, women like Sojourner Truth Elizabeth C. Stanton and Susan B. Anthony campaigned and gave speeches on the issue to reform them. Elizabeth Blackwell opened the hospital. Sadly though, the only woman who both signed the Declaration of Sentiments and lived to vote was Charlotte Woodward. Wow. Thanks, Miss Q. I learned a lot. Teaching is what I'm here for. I'm glad that I could help.